YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope, yeah, these are going good. And your lives are going even better than that. We're jumping into a band that I haven't listened to in such a long time. Well, not listened to, but haven't reacted to in such a long time, should I say. We're going to be listening to Beyond Deviation with a song called Thalassophobia. Featuring Dickie, man. You gotta love, you gotta love Dickie. He's such a great vocalist and entertainer and all of those wonderful things. Thalassophobia is a fear of large bodies of water. If you'd like to know. And German, let's go. Let's see. It's been ages. Hopefully it's going to be intense and amazing and all that good stuff, man. So. Alright then, man. Let's see where this is going. Oh, I forgot this is really, 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 really high pitch as well. Yeah. Adam, let's see where we're going. Ooh, that bass is sexy. <laughs> they had to. They had to do the same. Oh man, this is so cool. I'm absolutely loving this. I love that further. Like the so deep, they had to. They had to just do deep focus to it. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so funny. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm afraid more than I've ever been to confront the world, to confront myself, to go to war with what's inside. Yeah, to fight against your own phobias is a very scary thing to do, man. Like, if you have to be, f if you're faced with your fears, like, if you have made your fear of heights like me, or some other kind of thing, man, it's like, it's really hard to face that, man, because it's just, like, just proper terror going through you. Seasick. I feel nauseous. The thought of growing up sickens me. I'm not ready for what is to come. What is to come? You for growing up? Interesting. Maybe. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. I thought thalassophobia was a fear of water. Or like large bodies of water. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm completely mistaken on that one, but whichever way, man. Yes, so he's not ready for us to come. There's a certain depth to it that I do not understand so deep. I am beyond afraid. So maybe there is, because like, there's a lot of like things of water. Maybe there's like a double entendre that I'm missing at the moment. We'll see as we keep going. So, let's go. Ooh, this is pure vocal driven that quarter, which is a very cool stuff. This is interesting, man. I love the bass on. The bass on is so sexy. I've never seen the vocals are um, intensely crazy, man. But oh damn! I see what they did. I can see it. I see where we're going with this. Like for me, generally, when I've listened to Beyond Deviation in the past, right? Like they're amazing to listen to and to react to, but in actually to listen to every day, they're really, 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 really high pitch. 
screams just really like hurt my head a little bit like not even to be mean or to be rude to the band because like i do find what they create really amazing to listen to and to appreciate it but this this is listenable to me this is like i can enjoy this which is amazing is what i've been waiting for for something that's not quite as like crazy heavily on the highs so that i can just appreciate it and enjoy it and just have a good time man i love finding deathcore that i absolutely adore man especially because we're getting towards the end of 2022 and i've got my last end of year video to do man i've did my halfway one a bit late but yeah man in about the end of december will be the last one so I got three minutes left on that video to do, man. So I've filled it up to about seven and a half minutes round about. So, gonna be interesting. Okay, let's see. Where did we get to? Where did we get to? Um, endlessly perched with thorns stuck in my sides. We only want us what we know that we cannot have. That is so true, man. Every time we think we want something, can we achieve it? We're like, oh, that wasn't even worth it. But the next thing that we see that we know we cannot have. So, like a lot of women go for married guys. Um. A lot of men try to go for the women who were taken off or women that are completely out of their league or, you know, at least some kind of danger or some kind of difference to it where it's like you have to work for it or it's a forbidden fruit of sorts, which is kind of similar to what some religious texts kind of do as well. Like, because forbidden fruit is generally the best fruit, which is a very weird saying in my opinion, man, but whichever way. Uh, nothing to say with nothing to show how fucking miserable. I cannot take that time I've wasted. Flexing out legs of danger spoken out of touch out of line out of my fucking mind I lapsed with my mental state as I go my collapsing I don't know what as I go is but I'm assuming it's something in your throat Because it's collapsing right the bone uh, The zygomatic bone is a paired irregular bone that defines the anterior and lateral portions of the face So yeah, it's like your face collapsing basically so it kind of makes it almost like your face is just falling inwards on itself, I would imagine, or something to that degree, man. Life is finite, so print your purposes. Like, life is life is not infinite. Eventually, everything ends, man. So what do you want to do? What is your purpose? Why are you here? What did you set out to do? What did you achieve from this life? And yeah, man. Let's just finish this, man. Then, um, I'm afraid to confront the world, to confront myself, to go to war with what's inside. Like, we've already done this bit as well, but, but I'm surrounded by water. I'm floating in a void. A veil of darkness surrounds me. I'm afraid, what could it be? The last of phobia. Like, yes, it's a fear of water, but in this sense, it's like you're floating within darkness, within yourself, within everything else. So, taking the meaning, throwing it on its head a little bit, twisting it a little bit, but actually just really perfectly doing it because... The moment you try to go within that darkness of yourself and you try to fight against that, you try to go against it or make it go away. It's where you go to those depths, to those edges, to the very depths of your own soul in order to try to fix yourself, in order to try to get better, in order to try to get out of the depths of your own depression, of your own darkness. And it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but when you can or even if you try, man, it's work, but it's always worth it bettering yourself. Try not to let your demons win in order to become better, a better person or better in life or whichever way, man. A sick message, though, man. So let's see. That's such a weird bass line on that side of it. You see this really high high but just this one's not too bad though to be fair. It's not constant. This is just little bits here and there, which I can live with. I'm loving this though. I love vocal driven death core though, so which are everywhere. A lot of people don't for some reason. Don't ask me why, but That sounds so sick in a death call voice. That is awesome, man. In a death call voice, that sounds so cool. Thalassophobia. 
What would it be? So, the Lord of all we are. Yeah. <laughs> My death call voice ain't the best yet, but no, it's such a cool word to say. Actually. My pronunciation is actually awful with death call right now, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to get better, but regardless, man, that's cool. That is so awesome, man. Beyond deviation, not awesome as always. And Dicky, hey, well, he's always just like. God level tier vocalist, man. What more do I really need to say? Amazing message. I love the twist, man. The twist is perfect. Like, it took me a second to get to the end to be like, oh, that's exactly what you mean. Okay. Interesting. Sick. Amazing vocals. Like, amazing. Like, the bass line was sexy as hell, though, to be fair. I love the bass. The drums are kind of basic in a way, but that's just all you need for this style of Deathcore because it's very much like a. It's defined by, its, by the vocals. Which suits bands like this because obviously, beyond deviations, vocalist is god level, like high pitch screamer of the year, like of the of the decade, man. Whichever way you want to go about it. But yeah, man. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.